<laughs> Thank you, Mr. With permission, Mr. Speaker, I'll answer questions 8 and 18 uh, together. The, these protests in Iran are a watershed moment. After years of repression, the Iranian people have clearly had enough. Uh, they are uh, standing up to the authoritarian regime under which uh, they live. And the, sadly, the regime has responded in the only way it knows with uh, violence. Uh, the UK is committed to holding Iran to account, including with over 300 sanctions, uh, including uh, the sanctioning of the IRGC in its entirety. And we'll continue to work with partners to challenge the regime's aggression at home and disruptive behaviour in the region. Lauren. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I thank uh, Secretary of State for his answer. If it, Iranians are being hung from cranes, a black bag over their heads and their feet bound uh, uh, their hands and feet bound, whilst Iranian weapons are perpetrating Putin's illegal war, murdering Ukrainians. Will the Secretary of State join me in condemning these human rights violations and tell me exactly what sanctions he will bring forward <coughs> against Raisi's abhorrent regime? Uh, Mr Speaker, the, uh, I personally in the UK Government uh, has uh, regularly condemned the human rights abuses uh, in uh, Iran and of course I recognise that, that, the, I recognise that that is a tone which is reflected right across the House. Uh, we have sanctioned uh, the morality police, we have uh, sanctioned Iranian uh, judges that are, we know to be involved in these uh, secret uh, trials. Uh, we will continue to work both. Um, we will continue to work uh, with our international partners and directly to uh, to sanction those uh, members of the Iranian regime who continue to abuse the human rights of the people uh, within the country. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> and the, the minister has rightly identified that the clerical fascist regime in Tehran is increasingly using violence and terror in trying to crush the popular protest in Tehran. Tehran but while also destabilising the region through proxies yeah. as well as further afield. Now, he knows a vital underpinning of this dreadful regime's activities is the Islamist Rev Revolutionary Guard Corps. He mentioned about working with, with, other, with other parties. He knows the United States have already taken action to prescribe the IRGC. Will this finally persuade him to sanction the IRGC? Yeah. Uh, Mr Speaker, we already sanction the uh, IRGC in its uh, entirety. Um, and we will continue to work closely with uh, our friends in the international uh, community to prevent the point uh, that he raised, the exportation of um, uh, attack drones and other munitions to Russia, which are then being used by Vladimir Putin's troops to attack civilians and civilian infrastructure uh, in Ukraine. So we will continue uh, to sanction um, uh, individuals, and as I say, the IRGC is already sanctioned in its entirety. General Minister Fabian Hamilton. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Metropolitan Police have warned about threats described, and I quote, as imminent and a credible risk to life against British Iranian journalists in the United Kingdom. Now, the Iranian regime has also threatened BBC Persia journalists. So will the Foreign Secretary, again, I ask him to set out what further targeted sanctions the government will be taking against the whole Iranian regime and, more importantly, to ensure that the government acts against any threats to individuals in the United Kingdom? Uh, he will understand that uh, it is uh, counterproductive to detail what future sanctions designations might be brought in uh, to ensure that the targets of those sanctions do not in any way uh, try to uh, evade uh, the sanctions before they're brought in. Um, the UK remains absolutely determined to ensure that um, uh, Iran does not intimidate people uh, within uh, this country. We'll always stand up to the aggression uh, from foreign nations. We will absolutely not tolerate threats, uh, particularly towards journalists who are highlighting uh, what is going on uh, in Iran or indeed any other individual living in the uh, UK. On the 11th of November, uh, I, sum uh, I summoned the uh, Iranian charge uh, d'affaires uh, to uh, highlight 
uh, the UK's uh, uh, position on this and working with our colleagues in the Home Office, we ensured that those Iranian journalists that we had information were under threat were protected by the British police. Dr. Rupert. Number nine, please, Mr. Speaker. Minister. <coughs>